What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here and today is the 22nd of July and uh, today I will show you the full July tour so uh, I'll take you around everything in the city um, I wanted to do this every month but uh, now it's already the 22nd so I didn't have a lot of time but either way I'm gonna show you around everything right now there will be some future updates as well just covering a few smaller changes but this will be the full tour so so to start off the store I'm gonna pan around real quick so you can see each section as you can see there we have the Hogwarts section then we got the harbor there with the little industrial village next next to it. Then we got the forest area. We got the roller coaster uh, theme park there. This beach area and the downtown area in front of us. Uh, in the back we got that New York type of section. The little park in the back there. Some uh, police buildings in the back as well. And then last but not least the Ninjago area. And of course my girlfriend's Elves slash fantasy area. And as is tradition in these updates or uh, Lego City tours. That we start off at the beach area here as you can see uh, one change is this new light kit here for the um, old fisher store so it's pretty cool let me try and check inside as you can see we have one loose hanging cable there now as you can probably tell these cables are very ugly here um, i still have to find a way to hide these better still didn't find any time for it so i'm gonna try to make them uh, come down here and then have a usb separator in there somehow so we'll see how that turns out Either way, now it's pretty nice to look inside the fishing store. And we can also open it up, of course. So yeah, pretty cool. Oh, and we got Spider-Man in here. For some reason, so yeah. Like that. Then, as you can see, another change is there in the back. That juice bar is now lit up as well. And that diner is too, so as you can see, both of these... I've used uh, an extra USB cord that I had from the Ninjago City. So uh, one of those USB strings was broken and they sent me a new one. But from the broken strings there were still two lights working. So I've used those for the, this juice bar and that uh, small diner there. So pretty handy. These are basically free light kits. Let's have a look inside. There's nobody inside. Still have to dress this up a little bit more. So yeah. Now I'm gonna take you to the other side. All right, so out here, not a lot has changed. As you can see, we still have that small roller coaster there, even though I might want to change it. As you can see, we have this sticky bar mug that I've made, which I will uh, make a video about, as well as uh, an instruction video about this. Then, uh, as you can see, we got these two light green uh, base plates, which weren't here before. Uh, we got this in the Bricklink hall, and I think this one in the back here as well. So we've added those, now it looks a lot better. Only this uh, yellow part, still have to find a, a little bit more of a, a better transition in here, either way. Then we got this small Paradisa Seaside Cabana set, which you probably saw in my uh, in the mini review of this set. But uh, yeah, so for the rest, there isn't a lot of change. Got the diner there, which I need to light up as well. So, And as you can see, of course, we can look into the underwater area, which is pretty cool. It's a bit dusty, I have to clean this a bit. But uh, yeah, okay, so now I will take you guys underwater. We will dive right underneath here. As you can see, there isn't a lot of change done out here. Uh, I've got some new wooden stuff. I'm gonna make the backboard really soon. So uh, the entire underwater area is divided from the rest of that messy section there. So, <laughs> um, but as you can see, we got this big skeleton here. This is a, uh, yeah supposed to be like a big dinosaur or whatever and I used this skull from the Samurai X cave then as you can see we got a whole lot of figures underwater here um, we got that Ninjago shark thing there you can see we got some of those older uh, regular uh, diver dudes then we got this this Manta dude from Atlantis we got um, Aquaman out here we have this dude which is from I believe like a minifigure CMF series then we have this bad boy here the these two guys in here looking for their uh, their master ogle <laughs> as you can see we got a sarcophagus out there that they didn't discover yet or they did as you can see we have some sunken egyptian shit in here uh, a temple out there from indiana jones so pretty cool this diver is looking into it this is a new one let me see if i can open this up yes it's from the adventure series very cool really like those hieroglyphs so yeah then we have this uh what is it neptune discovery lab or something very cool and I would love to get a, a light kit for this as you can see this should open up yeah pretty cool I really like that these doors as well very awesome happy to own it 
and as you can see we have another base plate just like this special base plate out here and uh, I do have that moon base plate out there that's also from those Aquanauts or Aqua Raider sets I would love to place this in a square so you have one big circle in the middle that would be very cool but uh, I have to find out how I want to do that uh, so yeah then for the rest <laughs> we have the Sarlacc pit here as well and uh, <laughs> I normally placed Boba Fett like this So, yeah, <laughs> I've placed the pit out here, as you can see he's trying to escape, um, but yeah, then we got Spongebob in the back there, got this Batman dude, but uh, yeah, that's that was it for the underwater area, not a lot of change, uh, so I'll, we'll go back above the water. Alright, and the next part is the boulevard or the uh, downtown area here, as you can see this boulevard's some new additions are all of the light uh, street lights are here right now so i really like that as you can see we got the three modulars lit up the diner the assembly square and the palace cinema i've added some things on the palace cinema as you can see we got that chrome gold uh, infinity gauntlet there the chrome gold iron man out there as well three clicks on a snap so uh, that's what the snap is referring to <laughs> and uh got a whole lot of figures out here we got this cool band Spider-Man, Deadpool and Batman, we got uh, C-3PO, we got uh, Hermione, Harry, Charlie Chaplin there, Stan Lee of course, he has to oversee everything, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got some cool disco lights out there, I love these lights from the Palace Cinema, how they're moving and stuff, we also have some cool lights there in the Assembly Square as well, that uh, coffee mug is lit up, as well as the fountain here, which changes color as you can see, just turned red. So very awesome and as you can see we still have these two street lights are in a different color so these are cold uh, white lights but these are attached to the fountain as well so I have to find a way to either uh, wire these all the way back out here as you see we already have one uh, cold light street light out there but it would be cool to light up this entire alleyway there but then I have to find a way to get the cables running through all uh, through there so yeah and the biggest addition, of course, is this cool little, it's not really the biggest, but it's the newest, this cool little uh, news kiosk here. I have a video about it. I really like this and it kind of uh, um, shows what this world is about because as you can see, we got a lot of different newspapers there. We got some from the Heart Lake City. We got some from Doc Ock, from Mysterio, from Ninjago, uh, from the Harry Potter, the Daily Prophet. So this is just how my city is. It's just like a big mix of all themes and all stuff and that's like, the, the stuff that I really like just one uh, big uh, city full of fantasy and stuff so uh, out here everybody from every section can find a newspaper that they like we also got the Springfield Inquisitor there some superhero stuff so very cool really like that out here I also have a new future project announcement I'm not sure when I can start on it but either way uh, out here I would love to make underneath the table and I'm sorry it's pretty dirty there from some sawdust I would like to make a little bit of a, as you can see this platform is about 40 centimeters lower than the upper platform. I would love to make one a bit maybe like halfway, 20 centimeters lower or 20 bricks or whatever. A uh, platform a bit lower to have a subway station down here, which will be accessible through one of these. Uh, I will remove this base plate and have an 8 by 16 strip open and I will cut it open as well and then I will make this subway entrance around it so you can access it from the from the top here which also fits very well with this new ski also then i believe so we'll see how that goes uh, but yeah and moving along we got the bank out here uh, the brick bank which is lit up as well i really like that light especially there as you can see we got it's hard to tell but this is the punisher who's sniping here very cool i uh, don't know what he's aiming at i believe it's gonna be one of those dudes over there Either way, then something else. Out here we have this awesome cool little street light. And as you see, it's just changed color. It goes from green to orange to red, of course, <laughs> as any street light does. But uh, this street light actually comes from the Ghostbusters set. As you can see, it's lit up as well. And uh, I was very lucky that this street lantern came with a separate USB string. As you can see, the black wires there. It was pretty difficult to hide them, but I think this is uh, the best way to do it. And uh, it was on a separate USB string, so I can just place this wherever I want. It doesn't have to necessarily be attached to the Ghostbusters firehouse itself, so I really like that. Alright, and then we got this side. 
of the downtown area as you can see this the brick bank out here that uh, laundromat is also lit up very awesome i don't know if it changes color that uh, laundromat i don't think so i think it stays blue but either way then we got the parisian restaurant here and as you i'm gonna try to zoom in as you can see we have a celebrity out there showing off his baby so uh <laughs> y'all can decide who that is his initials are MJ, so <laughs> you could probably figure that out. Uh, and then we got the detective's office over there in the hotel, but I will show that from the other side. And as you can see, we got a whole bunch of wacky figures here everywhere. So we got Harley Quinn there. Out here as well, we got that, uh, that or is it a duck pool, I think? <laughs> yeah, duck pool. And uh, this mafiosi rocket raccoon are ready to rob this bank here. Even though I think <laughs> there's a police woman right there. And we got Kingpin right there. Um, so I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to pull this off either way uh, then here on this side we got we got Luigi and Mario on the on the Vespa here and then we got Goku out there uh, one of those uh, Geonosian Geonosian I believe yeah uh, soldiers or whatever then we got um, what is his name Galactus there then some more figs we got in the back there uh, the thing and uh, Richard Reed Richards there from the uh, Fantastic Four, so very cool. And as you can see, this Ghostbuster HQ is very cool with those ghosts. Here is that blue ghost lit up. Then we got up here uh, the pink one as well, and then the Slimer. And for that crazy book lady, I've just placed her up here because this bookstore has some lights up on the top as well. So I put her on there so she lights up a little bit, which is very cool. We've added in these styles all the way until there almost until the back there now we need some light gray uh, longer tiles as well but uh out here you can see the corner garage is looking very nice lit up we got wolverine there who just came from a check from the veterinary veterinary there <laughs> and then up front here is a, an apartment which i would like to make it an apartment for my sig fig even though my sig fig right now is rick but he's not an official lego figure so i might want to change that as you can see we got spider-man working here to fight with the scorpion in a way this has been moved so that's looking better he's gonna try to capture the scorpion there and this lady is just watching <laughs> as you can see next to it we got my egyptian museum mock here or just museum mock and in the front here we got johnny thunder who is actually the owner of this museum uh, it features all of the stuff that he has acquired throughout the years as you can see, we have this mummy being interviewed here um, <laughs> by Hillary Clinton, actually. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but either way. Uh, on top of this museum, we got some funny characters as well. As you can see, we got uh, Sam Sinister there and Baron Von Baron trying to steal everything that Johnny Thunder has acquired throughout the years. <laughs> as you know, they have been trying to do that for a long time. I really like the way you can look inside the firehouse there. Pretty cool through that small window there. And through that other window, even though there's not a lot of stuff in there, as you can see the table. But uh, yeah. All right, now moving on, we got this Amsterdam coffee shop, um, first floor station, second floor coffee shop, third floor um, probably the coffee shop's owner's house. It's not, it's not finished yet, the third floor. So as you can see, we have this cool modular with a train running through it. And I've seen some people do something like that, but uh, I really like that. So out here, it's pretty pretty perfect for it as you can see we've tiled down everything out here as well so I really like that it looks pretty good to me now I'm just missing some uh, one by ones as you can see and moving on to the bookshop which is very awesome I really like that and these lights have been moved a little bit as you can see they should be facing this way like that as you can see this gives a nice glow with the blue and red light together very very awesome I really like that uh, the book, uh, the little, uh, what is it, the family home next to it as well, is lit up as well, so very cool. Um, so yeah, now, out here, we're planning on having, as you can see, the construction guys are working hard, or hardly working, <laughs> at this new uh, area here. So as you can see, uh, after a long time of thinking what to do with this, and after a long time of uh, moving the Ninjago City stuff around, we've decided to get this train track dividing the regular town with the Ninjago town so as you can see I've added in that little station there it used to be all the way over there next to the bridge there but uh, I think it looks a lot better out here 
Now the only thing, yeah, first I'm gonna start off with the city here. So out here, what we would like to do is some, maybe have some small buildings out here and then going bigger in the back there, because if I have a big building out here, then it's difficult to reach the back there. So, uh, and of course I have to remove that big um, building out there as well, because this is a mock of mine, uh, which I made for a contest. I didn't win though, but I don't think it really fits with the Ninjago area here. So I'm probably gonna take it apart and use some, use a lot of parts for it. Uh, from it for uh, the new smaller Ninjago stuff I want to do out there but yeah then we'll get some room out there for some other stuff even maybe some other buildings on that platform and as you can see out here we have used those Chinese New Year sets to create a little marketplace up front here and I really like the way that it opens up to the viewers so as you look at it from here it narrows down and it goes there to the temple but as you can see we've got this other temple entrance or archway there and it used to be right here so it's like uh, it looks better like one entire section there together with the other temple i just turned this around to make like a an entrance to the ninjago city but i actually want to place it again and use something else or create a, a small little uh, entrance myself just because i like this in front of the other orange building so yeah and up top there we still have the ninja the air jitsu temple which i'm gonna keep there because that was the first thing I wanted and that's actually why I've made that entire ninja uh, Asian mountain or Eastern mountain then out there we got the monastery some other temple some other small temples but I still I'm still not sure what I want to do with everything out there so it's kind of a mess and it's a state I have neglected this area for a long time <laughs> but uh, either way then we got the Ninjago docks which I still need a light kit for and then we got the Ninjago city which is lit up very awesome really like these uh, pink lights out here even though they look more yellowy and then especially this awesome blue light underneath the bridge looks really really good we have a squirtle there <laughs> as you can see we got all kinds of wacky characters out here as well we got this dude selling uh what is to become a gremlin there <laughs> as you can see uh, and then we got ash with the pikachu we got some samurai deadpool there got that kill bill figure got this this ugly dude out here i don't know its name anymore <laughs> and then we have the colonel selling his chicken here uh, with his mascot come on with his chicken mascot there as you can see <laughs> and then in the back there we have some other figures as you can tell we got one of those Mr. Negatives uh, dude from the PS4 PlayStation 4 Spider-Man game which is a really nice figure it's a knockoff figure though but it's really cool uh, let's see we got Goku out there or Vegeta I'm not sure but yeah and then we have this back here this little uh, dragon boat race, as you can see, these USB plugs haven't been uh, hidden either. But yeah, I might want to make a uh, Ninjago City small building out here and then a bridge. So you can still have a very nice broad way of, uh, of water where these boats can pass through and a bridge where they can pass under. So, But for the rest, not a lot of change here. So yeah, that was a Ninjago area, guys. Now let's have a look at this street here. If you come to this street, you can see we have the detective's office here. We have a hotel out down here. I've quickly put the bike shop there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. But either way, then we have this cool Ghostbusters HQ, of course, with the lights in there. Very awesome. Then on this side, we have this uh, Heart Lake City Hospital, which is very cool as well. This is from my girlfriend. This uh, Emma's art studio right next to it is a semi-mock of her or a remock. So very cool. As you can tell, we have the place for an ambulance out here. So yeah, and this is lit up. We got Dr. Deadpool there, pretty funny. We got Morty chilling here. And then we have who is supposed to be my girlfriend, I think. She has the same hair. <laughs> so yeah, very cool. Uh, but yeah, either way, I want to show this uh, Ghostbusters HQ. I'm going to open it up uh, right now. But first, I wanted to show you guys this here. This is a pretty cool little plaza here, which I like, with the Daily Bugle there, the Sanctum Sanctorum, and the Peter Parker's apartment with the pizzeria underneath there. And then we also have the backside of that Amsterdam building, which I really like. Um, so yeah, as you can see, got the house number there. <laughs> so yeah, and this Sanctum Sanctorum is also lit up, even though it's hollow from the inside, as you can see. I've added a rooftop, but for the rest it's just hollow. I would like to make some floors in there as well, but uh, yeah. But for now, I will try to open this up for you guys. All right, so as you can see down here, 
these are parking spots normally so we would have these cars down there but uh, for now I want to remove them because I will have to remove them to open up this building so as you can see this should open up with the lights with this street light out here as well even though it's a tight fit but yeah this is what it looks like opened up so very awesome I really like that I also always like to do this when I open it up <laughs> so but uh, yeah as you can see we got a lot of cool uh, interior details and uh, with the lights it's pretty easy to look at and uh, when it's dark it's even better to look at I will show you that in the end of this video so uh, yeah now I'll close this up again all right then as you can see we got Aunt May there on the bench with Groot we got the, uh, the guy from the Daily Bugle what's his name damn I forgot about him uh, but yeah either way then we got Doctor Strange getting himself a pizza there then out here we have this little birthday party here for the kitty uh, so this is my girlfriend's creation of course then we have out there we got Bob Pool <laughs> Bob Ross Deadpool making a painting out here I think he's painting the sky but just the blue parts though so uh, yeah either way then out here we have this food court which is a very just a small little build as you can see we have Yoda here enjoying a, a light icicle <laughs> and then we have this zombie dude with the hot dogs then we have another hot dog guy these guys have some uh, some competition going on between them some rivalry but uh, yeah then here we've ad also added in some more tiling my girlfriend did some more uh, she tiled some more this corner out here so pretty pretty nice then we've just temporarily placed that creator building down there and then we have the toy store out here this little Venice bridge with the waterfall in the back which I kind of like even though that brick built waterfall might be changed to a um, a transparent one so we'll see about that and we have aqua two hydromans out here <laughs> so yeah we have this leprechaun there uh, shout out to Lego leprechaun awesome city <laughs> awesome uh, channel really like him now you can see this classic uh, iconic little station down here we still got the tree the big tree I've placed a private drive there but it's also temporarily so yeah for the rest not a lot of changes here this area I didn't touch for a long time so yeah all right and then if you go up that street you come out here on this little street here which ends in the theme park uh, I got a separate video about that uh, the theme park the addition of the roller coaster but as you can tell we got the X mansion there not finished at all I just placed it on that base plate real quick then we got the uh, the Bruce Wayne Manor as well as you see I've moved them around a lot of times because the gate is still on the previous um, on the previous position so I also have to move it but it's it's really annoying to always move it a bit and uh, then we got the police station which is also didn't change a lot I am gonna make a video however I want to dress this up I also want to light it up which is gonna be a bit more difficult because it has so many floors but either way I would like to have an interior I have a lot of policemen so I, I want to place them there a little uh, little area where they can eat some donuts and stuff so <laughs> now we have the hospital and then we got the roller coaster theme park here which is still looking the same I only added those benches in there <laughs> real quickly but uh so yeah all right guys now I'm quickly gonna show you something fun I'm gonna drive off this bus here I always like to drive off vehicles from here it's gonna crash but either way all right so some things broke there but it's all for the sake of entertainment all right and then we're arriving at the uh, forest area here as you can see we have this mountain and I'm very happy that this is finally yeah it was last video it was finished already uh, but that this part is finally finished <laughs> one of my uh, only only uh, rock walls that I've actually finished as you can see this one isn't finished yet so I'm gonna be very happy when I have this entire S shape full of rocks out here when it's finished even though I might revisit that one because I'm not really that happy with the the uh, the rock work as you can see we have a lot of sharp edges which is not so nice but either way we have this small little puma or cougar cave there we have the tunnel for the trains we have this uh, these two tree houses here the small ones we have this moto moto cross route here then we got the <laughs> the which is i believe the son of johnny thunder and then we have indiana jones which in my universe uh, uh, are related so these are nephews or something or indiana jones is his uncle or whatever and then we have the tree houses here the small ones we got the Newberry uh, station as well, which I've just placed there quickly. 
um, and then we get to the big tree house here and in this universe <laughs> it is occupied by the Wookiees or the Ewoks I mean uh, the Ewoks and the Wookiees so they're friends out here and I've just added in some small little animals which came in this set as you can see like a, a, a ladybug then we have a butterfly as well and out here we also have squirrel girl which is pretty funny let's take a look at her tail there so uh, that's squirrel girl and we also have the phoenix with his nest down here even even though i don't think they lay eggs i think they just burn down and become a new phoenix or something <laughs> i don't know how they reproduce but uh, either way they're mythical mythical creatures so we shouldn't really wonder too much about that but uh yeah so this is the fun part with some uh, we got the tent out there so people are camping down here this is a pretty fun fun little um uh, forest area but then it becomes a bit darker down here as you see we have that like green carnage dude down there and we have voldemort and hell uh, uh pinhead down there as well as you can see i'm gonna we have this little ghost this cool little ghost uh, bear and we also have this rock which can go which becomes creepy <laughs> and then in the back there we have the uh, the graveyard duel from harry potter some more cool graveyard uh, some little mocks that uh, a friend of mine made actually he's a very talented builder himself even though he doesn't build a lot but uh, he makes some very cool uh, mocks as you see these graves are all made by him very cool and then i have uh, i have that big tree down there and the little gyros gyrosphere thing down there as well but uh yeah that was the forest area now we're coming through a little bit more of a um what's it called like a industrial kind of town as you can see we have the brooklyn bridge down there even though this is supposed to be more of a european type um like city and and side this island is supposed to more represent like europe as you can see we have a lot of different things out here we got the beach area which is kind of california then we have this downtown area which is also more like a los angeles uh, hollywood area then in the back here it becomes more of a new york type of a uh, area as well then in the back obviously an eastern eastern area so some uh, chinese or japanese uh, cities and stuff and then when you get through here this is more like a, a countryside american town or whatever so and then we get to the finally to the european forest here with the like a, a uk or british city down here with the harbor as well and then of course the most british building ever and <laughs> the hogwarts section there so uh yeah but so yeah this is supposed to be more of like an industrial small town as you can see we have this pizza shop we have this other shop this gas station here and then in the back we have uh the king cross station which i kind of like um i want to close it up though it looks a bit funny just uh open like that I don't think it fits very very well but i have some big plans for this section down here i want to change it up a bit but i uh, will see about that in the future and then here we have the harbor which is still the same we got this cool little third uh, dog there as you can see we have one low dog one high dog and then the third also pretty high even though i might close this entire window stuff uh, these windows up with the uh, the cloud background as well so then we cannot use that space anymore that's behind there but uh, we'll see about that either way we have this small museum there as well just some random stuff we have this random deadpool out here spider pool so yeah and then a new addition in the city is this uh, lighthouse here. I think it's new. I don't know if it was on the last update. I don't think so. But uh, either way, this is pretty cool. I really like it. The hidden side lighthouse. And it fits very well with the, um, with the Fisher store and the diner here up front. Because as you could have seen from my other video, maybe everything between these tables is just supposed to represent water. So we have this first island, which I already told you guys about. And this is also an island. So all of these edges are supposed to be where the water is so uh yeah i really like that and uh yeah either way this is very cool and if i i want to keep this as well down here because it kind of reminds me of that same uh type of lighthouse where harry potter and his uh his aunt and uncle were hiding for the hogwarts letters and where hagrid comes uh <laughs> comes in so i'm probably gonna place hagrid down here with harry potter and stuff i really like that so very cool but uh yeah Let's move along with the Hogwarts build here. We have this random plant here. <laughs> so um, as you can see, we got the Hogwarts Express there. 
and now we got the Hogwarts area down here we got the Hogwarts Express coming out of there already I have this small little boathouse mock which I still have to figure out how I'm gonna make these stairs as you can see this is a very big work in progress still um, but for now I really like the uh, the position of every building in here so I'm gonna try to remock that entire building I don't know if I'm gonna even use that for it because I want to be it, I want it to be a lot bigger maybe more like uh, the clock tower is maybe something of that uh, size and then I would like to have the astronomy tower a bit more to the left side and a bit higher as well because I believe that is the highest building in a uh, in uh, Hogwarts the highest tower so either way I've started on this on the mock of this uh, great hall courtyard here and this is just one side now I have to mirror it to the other side it's still uh, looking very rough I still have to polish it a lot more and as you can see I've used these 45 degrees uh, plates here to place them like that uh, it will be a little bit higher and then I will have to find a way to maybe place them on tiles or something but either way it has to have this 45 degree angle here which I really like and um, this is also modular as you can see or type kind of modular this comes apart now the tower I just attached it there just for the sake of the video but it will be separate as well uh, so now I will take you through this great hall because this is actually a semi mock or a remock as well as you could have probably told this is a lot higher than the regular one so I've made this twice the height or almost twice not including the roof um, but um, I still have a lot of leftover pieces from that but I want to show you the inside because I've kind of adjusted it as well it's really some minor adjustments but either way I will try to turn that around now all right so now this is what I was talking about as you can see the front side of that great hall is uh, attached to this courtyard here so it's you can take it off there and uh, so this doesn't have a front side anymore but either way I didn't change a lot out here I just removed that um, fireplace I've placed headless nearly headless nick there I have now added four of the flags re representing each house there because this set normally comes with two uh, stickered on both sides uh, so you can turn them around but now we have all four represented down here and uh, now I just widened this uh, passageway a little bit more so you can have somebody walking down there I would really love to have four tables but uh, for now I'm just gonna keep it like this because elsewise I have to scale up the entire mock which is pretty it's gonna be difficult because it still has to fit on this small table here maybe once in the future I will get a separate table just for Hogwarts and maybe it will be a bit a bit bigger because I really like Hogwarts but uh, we'll see about that in the future but uh, yeah all right now we have a very cool feature here on this little great hall uh, mock kind of mock as you see I had to raise this up a little bit and I just wanted to add some cool thing and this is just a, a printed disc piece from one of those 2001 sets and I really didn't know what to do with this so I thought yeah maybe it would be fun to place it in here as you can see I also remember who gave this to me it was my stepbrother when I was uh, very small I was like eight years old or something this is from one of those 2001 sets one of those small sets I think it's just called the sorting hat or whatever and uh, so you can turn this around and then as you can see this is a 50 50 instead of to add like maybe a little needle to the side this is 50 50 again this is maybe more half up of but uh, yeah either way this way you can decide uh, in what in which house your character will be placed so uh, now in the back here I would maybe I was thinking maybe of uh, changing the harbor I'm not sure I'm maybe getting the forbidden forest on this side maybe the harbor on the other side or maybe even down there that's where I want to place uh, a lot of the industrial stuff as you can see out here I still have this firehouse I still have the um, um, the airport as well and uh, like the airport and like still a lot of trains out here as well a lot of train tracks also so uh, I really like this stuff like the harbor and, and all of those things in the city but uh, as you know a harbor and an airport and a train yard all of that stuff really takes up a lot of real estate and to me I don't really need the city to be super realistic as I said about that news kiosk as well I really like the fantasy and the diversion of it so to me it would be even nicer to have maybe some Harry Potter buildings out here as well or an old town instead of just a smaller little town down here but either way I mean, I'm gonna make a small town down there with all of the rest over pieces I still have the leftover pieces um, but I might even change the harbor as well I will think about that um, but either way if I wanted to do that then I would probably place the Hogwarts uh, the Hagrid's hut down there and maybe even a full-sized or yeah like a smaller scale but full-sized um, what is this called uh, Quidditch 
Quidditch field as well, so I'd, I have to buy a, I'd have to buy another set of those, uh, of these Quidditch things. Then I could make a circle there, that would be very cool as well. And then I could have that uh, all of those Forbidden Forest builds in there as well. And because for the back down there, I would love to have the Owlery sticking out very high because I think it's on a rock pretty high. Uh, but yeah, that's the plans which what I wanted to do with some uh, leftover industrial stuff that I had because as I said, a lot of people go for realism in their city. To me, I really like the fantasy part more. Uh, to have all the superheroes, all the magical fantasy creatures being together in one city is more appealing to me. But either way, uh, everyone has their own choice, of course. But uh, let me guys know what you guys think of it. And I will definitely take some of your uh, recommendations. Uh, I will think about them and uh, I will see what to do with it. But either way, I'm going to wait a long time with this because I still have to fix this first and all of that stuff. I have a lot of other things to do. So I will keep the, the harbor out here for a long time still. But I'm going to start with that smaller town down there as well. So, All right. And then the final part down here. This is the elves layout or the fantasy layout. As you can see, we also have some... Uh, Lego Movie 2 stuff down there, very awesome, uh, my girlfriend made a lot of stuff down here, she made that cool building there, uh, using some leftover Mega Bloks stuff that I had uh, as well, so, uh, it, it's looking really cool, we also have the treehouse there from the Frozen series, she has changed this a lot of times, and I think for now this is the best configuration, as you can see we have this very cool, using those uh, brick pieces from a Bricklink uh, order a bit ago, a while ago and then we have this lava waterfall there which is very cool also have that base plate with the lava there from one of those early studio sets as you can see we also have this Dumbledore's office that I got from a friend of mine uh, but I'm gonna place this I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it apart for the Hogwarts section or I'm gonna put it maybe in like a uh, a closet or whatever as you can see the roof has fallen off there but uh, yeah so very cool really like this and all right guys I think that we covered everything in the city i've also covered all of the future plans of the new additions all of the buildings and stuff so um yeah be sure to subscribe and like if you like this video we still have a lot of things coming up and this city has only been existing since last october so it's a little over a year a uh, little under a year so uh, god knows what will happen in the next year <laughs> we'll see about that but um Either way, if you like this, subscribe, like the video. Be sure to check out my Instagram as well. I also have a lot of stuff on there. And uh, be sure to stick around because I will have the um, a video about the city lit up as well. So uh, be sure to check that out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.